Hey, welcome back everybody. This is another TTM video. We get autographs TTM or through the mail. And we've been kind of uh, happenstance lately, but when you do one video a week, you get a bunch of returns. We've got 26. So again, we're not going to do the background and usual stats and other things. We'll get right to it and go right through them. 26 today. First one coming from Parts Unknown. No postmark. It's a new stamp, so it's a new return. And there's Phil Stevenson. First time we've gotten him back. He, the victim of the great hidden ball trick in that 1982 Miami uh, College World Series game. Phil Stevenson, first base. Didn't have the speed of a first baseman. Stole a bunch of bases back in college. I think he set an NCAA record. And there it is right there. He was at Wichita State. Set NCAA record with 87 stolen bases and 97 walks in 1982. 87 stolen bases. Gene Stevenson was the longtime coach at Wichita State. I don't know if that was his father or not. If he did, he taught him how to steal a base, that's for sure. Let's see if it was prolific stolen bases in the uh, major leagues. Hey, he stole 30 in the minors and 28 in the minors. Not bad for a first baseman, that's for certain. All right. Enough rambling. Next one coming from Carol Stream, Illinois. Or Illinois, as many call it. Ed Obradovich. There's, well, there's my five bucks that I got back. He didn't sign that. That's weird. Okay. I sent him two cards, including his rookie card there on that 69 top, or 68, 69 tops, 72 tops, and $5. <laughs> he sent a brand new 72 tops and five dollars back okay all right so that's cool <laughs> ed obradovich monster of the midway he was a bad man ed it remains a terror to enemy quarterbacks he used to beat him up and i got my five bucks back how about that ed obradovich phil stevenson was what 50 days First time we've gotten him back, and Ed Obradovich was just 10, but that's a weird return. 0 for 2 and a 1 for 1. So 1 for 3, including one I did not send. Keith Sims. That's coming from where? Atlanta Metro. Keith Sims. Cool autograph, number 69 in the loop. And there's on the score 91. 2 of 2. Almost the same pose. Probably uh, taken the same day by the different companies. Upper deck and score. Pretty cool. Keith Sims is a good offensive lineman, a really good offensive lineman. First time we've gotten him back. Thank Dave Brown for the autograph on that one, I think. Uh, 17 days, no fee. Ed Obradovich, no fee, I guess. And Phil Stevenson was no fee. Next, coming from Birmingham, Alabama. They love the governor. Chris Hammond. That's pretty cool. Three of three. I sent him a dollar each, all with those Florida Marlins. Top's gold. Put that up front. We're going to run out of holders, so we're going to stack them up. Chris Hammond, he's a dollar a piece, and it's donated to his local Little League. Dollar a piece and 22 days. Next one coming from Atlanta Metro. I should, should have grouped these by city. Two of them from Atlanta Metro already. Keith Sims and Ron Gant. Pretty cool. We get Ron Gant back. He loves the sign. OPG. And 289 Fleer, which I think is his rookie card. He might be on the 88 Fleer. I forget. We'll put it up front. Four, the set. Four, four, Ron Gant. That's 10 days. He's a great signer. Gets him back quick. Signs all you send him. Four, four, 10 days. San Diego, California. If I could ever get back to Cal uh, San Diego. I would do it in a heartbeat. There's Charlie Joyner, Hall of Famer, on his rookie card. We love that rookie card. Get it relatively inexpensively. He signs it great. He spanks it with a Hall of Fame inscription. 84 tops and the 72 tops. Such a great card. Hall of Famer, Charlie Joyner. No fee. I may have sent him $5 with that because we send him quite often, every four months or so. Hall of Famer is 26 days. You can get him for free, but why not donate something? Next one coming from Los Angeles, right up the road from San Diego. 
Don Mosbar, Romans 10, 9, number 72. Same three, I think. 91 upper deck and 91 upper deck, Romans 10, 9. Put that 91 upper deck right up front. Don Mosbar, really good center for a lot of years, kind of underrated. Uh, 17 days, no fee. Next one coming from Kansas City Mo. Kansas City, here I come. Missouri. Brian McRae. Never been to Missouri, I don't think. Brian McRae, we sent him $5 too. He signed that Topps Laser. I wondered how that would turn out. Got a little rough there on the signing the inscription, the laser cut. That looks good on that Hall of Gold. And oh, I thought that would look good too. Brian McRae's got a great signature. Put that right up front on that Topps Kids. Like that color. I knew that was going to pop, especially if he used blue, which he did. Brian McRae sent him $5. 22 days. He used to charge $5 a pop and donated it. He worked for the Alumni Association for Baseball. Charlotte, North Carolina. Next up. Walt Patulski on his rookie card. Last time he did, we did not sign that rookie card. Either kept it or sent it back to me unsigned, I forget. And there's the 74 tops. First overall pick of that draft out of Notre Dame where he was all everything. Kind of got banged up early in his career and never reached his potential in the pros, but he was good while he lasted. Phoenix, Arizona. Walt Potolsky was uh, nine days. Nine days and he signed two of two, so that's cool. Well, that's a tough cut. Am I losing my razor? Bill Swift. One and 290 tops. 90 upper deck and 89 tops. Bill Swift kind of got a swirly. I think he makes that sound when he signs it. Bill Swift. And that was 10 days, no fee for Bill Swift. I think I have his Olympic card. Would like If I'd not, I'd like to get it. Pretty sure I have that. Next up, Phoenix, Arizona. Again, Phoenix, Arizona. A lot of those ball players who played for the uh, Western teams, and there's one of them right there. Probably uh, spring training verb in Arizona, and they just stay down there for their full-time retirement homes. Two Bill Melton, 70. Two tops and 73 tops. Big time slugger. 33 dingers, 33 dingers in back-to-back -back years. Set the uh, White Sox record with 33 and did it twice in a row. Baltimore, Maryland, Bill Melton was 38. 38. Yes. Get my abacus out for that one. Next up, Baltimore. Good morning. Rick Volk on the rookie. I sent him two rookies. I'm just going to hammer it in there. Rick Volk, 21. Signed both of them. I like it a lot. <laughs> Got that back quick. Sent it out last week. Thought so. Rick Volk, two of two on the two rookies. Eight. Eight days on that one. I knew I just sent that out, Rich. Richmond, Virginia. Richmond, Virginia. Next up, Richmond. I got tape on that. That's why it's not cutting. No hard card, Ken Willard. Yeah, 68 and 69 tops. I think that's his first tops card. Although he did have a um, Philadelphia card before that, 66 or 67, something like that. But that's his first top card, 68. Ken Willard's quick, too. Nine days. Love those old footballers. They get you back quick. Santa Ana, California. Eight day, nine days, Ken Willard. All right, Randy Vataha. Yeah, on the rookie, 72 tops, 73 tops. Number 18, didn't sign either of the uh, note cards. That's fine. Did sign that rookie card, though. I like that green screen background. Charlie Jr. getting kind of... Uh, Randy Vataha, 24, 5, and 6 days. 26 days, Randy Vataha. Next up, parts unknown. No postmark. How did they get by the U.S. Postal Service? I don't know. 
Ed Vandenberg. Stacked them in there just like I did. 89, 83, four, the set, and 87, Fleer. Three of three, Vandenberg. We'll put that Indians up front for the reindeer. And the halls of cards. Yeah, almost knocked it over. There you go. <laughs> Typical. Ed Vandenberg, two weeks, 14 days, no fee. Next up, Tampa, Florida. Tampa, Florida. Yeah, there's Wilson Alvarez. I need to get this guy's autograph. Who is that? Is that the Bat Boy? Is that a fan? I need that to be pretty cool to find that kid. Let's see, that's 94, 26, 27 years ago. He's probably a collector now. Probably still has that ball. All right. No hit club. I like that one. Wilson's got a great signature. From the Little League World Series to Major League Baseball, no hitter. Not the same night, but Wilson Alvarez. I got that back in 11 days from Tampa St. Pete. Next one up is Tampa St. Pete. I did group them together. Hey, there's Dave Cash. It's on his rookie card, he does charge $5. I got that 72 top signed by Dave Cash, and I thought that was his rookie card. Man, I was way off. He's got a 70, he's got a 71, and he's got that 72. So that's his third year card that I was calling his rookie card. So when I found his rookie card, I had to get that signed. $5, Dave Cash, he's quick. Uh, seven, seven days, one week, $5 fee. Next up is North Houston. Houston, Houston, Houston. I gotta get that tape off there. That is bad. Won't cut. There's Roger Metzger. All right. First time I've gotten him back. A little run of cards. Oh, that rookie looks good. 71 top, 72, and 73. Getting a run like uh, card cutter. Player era <laughs> collection. I need to get the run of Roger Metzger cards. 70. He played for a long time, though. Uh, no fee for Roger Metzger, and that came back in a month and five days, 35 days. First time we've gotten him. Next up, Miami, Florida. Miami Strong, the U. All right, Bruce Armstrong. He's borderline Hall of Famer. He'll be there someday. He may make my video of should-be Hall of Famers. I like that card, that Skybox card. Bleed, no bleed borders. Bruce Armstrong looks cool. Three of three, no fee, 10 days. Next up, Cleveland. Cleveland rocks. Cleveland rocks. Thumper Thornton rocks. Thunder Thornton. Thunder. Thunder. And his little dinosaur in the A. I think that's a dinosaur. What is that? 282. Tops, 81 tops with the Indians cap. Thunder Thornton. Yes. How long did that take? 21, 22 days. 22 days from Cleveland. Tampa St. Pete. We should have grouped him. Another one from Tampa St. Pete. No hard card. Roberto Clemente Hernandez. Two on the rookie and then the 92 Fleer rookie. Three rookie cards. On the man who's a member of the 1,000 Games Pitch Club, only 16 pitchers in history have reached that magical number, including last week's guy, Jesse Orozco, who is the all-time leader in games pitch with 1,254 or something like that. Roberto was pretty quick, 10 days, no fee. Next up, Greensboro, North Carolina, the Piedmont Triad area, which usually means it's a petty or it's a race car driver. I only sent it, Richard Petty. And that's him. Quick return, white ink. Never know what you're going to get with Richard. He's going to get the white ink, the blue ink. That's pretty cool, though. The king, two of two. I think those are the last two cards I have of him. <laughs> sent him a bunch over the years. He signed them all. He's great. He'll sign two at the most, two limit. He's quick, nine days. Hall of Famer, the king. Richard Petty. Next up, Tampa St. Pete. Another baseball player is my guess. They make their home there. Matt Lack. Matt Lack. 
73 tops and that great 74 tops. We saw this on a recent mail day or video, or maybe I got that at the card show. Nice signature, beautiful signature. He used to charge, I don't know if I sent him money or not, but he used to charge $5 a piece and he's worth it. So I would have no trouble sending him. I may have two of two, John Matlack, 14, 15, 16, 17 days. John Matlack, 17 days. Next up, Springfield, Missouri. Just a few more left. Thanks for staying with me. Thanks for your concern and your questions. There's Scott Bale's card. Having fun with the photographer wearing his tennis shoes and robbing a home run as a pitcher. Just having fun with the uh, photographer is what he told one inquisitive TTMer who asked him about the card. For the set, 89 Fleer. 92 score. we got to put that up there. We're running out of hard cards. Boop. Scott Bales, nine days. We're getting a lot of Indians here. Reindeer's happy. I like keeping reindeer happy. Nine days, Scott Bales. Next up, parts unknown. That's three in a row, three today out of 26 with no postmark. And there's, all right, Bill Wegman sends his plan of salvation. Not his plan of salvation, but God's plan of salvation. That's always cool. We've gotten from Mr. Wegman before. Very interesting. He sends that. Bill Wegman, Bill Wegman, Bill Wegman, and guess who? Bill Wegman. 86 tops traded, probably his rookie card. We'll put that up front with Mr. Vandenberg. Pretty cool. Bill Wegman, 23 weeks, 21 days. Last one coming from North Texas, Dallas, Texas. Might it be Bob Lilly again? No, it's Ferguson on his rookie card. Joe Ferguson. 80 tops and the 74 tops. Got that back. Nice. Wanted to get that back on his rookie card for sure. Joe Ferguson. 14, 19 days. No fee for Joe Ferguson. Well, that's it. Hey, 26 quickies. What do you think? What's your favorite? Dave Cash, Roger Metzger, timeline cards. Is it Rick Volk's rookie card? Walt Potolsky's rookie card. I got a lot of rookie cards. Let's see, one Hall of Famer, Richard Petty, two Hall of Famers, uh, Charlie Jordan and his rookie card. A lot of vintage. Hey, we appreciate you watching. Give me a thumbs up if you like what you see. Let me know down below what your favorite is. Get to 800 subscribers. I'm going to have a big giveaway. Uh, so if you haven't subscribed yet, I'll leave a one-click subscription right there. And if you missed last week's TTM video, I'll leave a link to it right there. You can click and watch it for the first time or watch it again if you uh, forget what was in there last week. Thanks for being with me. I'll try to have a mail day video tomorrow. Mail day, mail day, mail day. And uh, we'll see you soon.